the holder of the fuel. In any city, in any country, go to any petrol station you can get yourself to. Fill up your tank until it is full and pay for it. When the attendant is about to give you your receipt, state as clearly as you possibly can. Show me the holder of the fuel. If the lights flicker, run out of the area and never return, or face the most excruciating death your imagination can create. But if the attendant's face contorts into a look of discomfort, you are momentarily safe. The attendant will then lead you to behind the service station and to a car that looks very out of place. It will be old, rusted, and yet still seem brand new. The attendant will open the car's driver door for you. Get inside as quickly as you can. Wait a few moments. This is your last chance to escape. When you begin to hear soft lullaby-like music, Exit the strange car and return to your own car. Sleep there. You'll wake up at home in bed, unsure if it was a dream. If you wish to carry on, however, lock the car doors when you hear the music. You will hear a rustling in the back seat directly behind you. Don't look. Ask loudly for the thing to hear. What is the fuel that drives us to find them? The thing will then tell you every detail of every seeker's desire for every object, in terrifyingly accurate detail. If he gets to your desires, press down on the horn as hard as you can to block out his speech. He will huff, clearly disappointed he couldn't tell you your own desires. He will then reach forward and place a set of keys into your lap. You will then black out. When you awake, you will find yourself in your car again. The fuel in your car is once again the same as when you first arrived. In the ignition, however, will not be your keys, but they will be the keys the creature dropped for you. That set of keys is object number 546 of 2538.